Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at something pretty special that has just hit the open source community. The team over at Quinn has been on an absolute tier recently, dropping incredible models for text generation, vision, and now, they've entered the image generation space with their new Quinn image model. This isn't just another image model, it's a 20 billion parameter powerhouse that is setting a new standard, especially when it comes to rendering complex text directly within images. We're talking about accurately generating multi-line paragraphs in both English and even Chinese characters, something that many other popular models struggle with. The best part about all of this is that the Quinn team has released it under the Apache 2 license. This is huge because it means you are free to use this incredibly powerful tool for your own projects, personal or commercial, with very few strings attached. Now I've been experimenting with this quite a bit, and I've put together a custom, all-in-one text-to-image and image-to-image workflow for Comfy UI that I'll have linked for you down in the description. This workflow is specifically designed to be accessible. It uses a quantized GGUF version of the Quinn image model and a lightweight GGUF clip model. This setup significantly lowers the VRAM requirement, making it possible to run on a wider range of hardware. To make things even better, the workflow integrates the new Litex to V Lightning 4 Step LoRa. This little addition is a game changer. It dramatically speeds up generation times by cutting down the required steps to just four steps and a CFG value of one, all while keeping the image quality impressively high. On my own laptop with a 6GB RTX 4050, I'm able to generate a 1024x1024 upscaled image in about a minute and 30 seconds, which isn't too bad. While this workflow is compatible with the larger, more demanding Quinn image models like the FP16 and FP8 versions, for this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the manual setup of a specific quantized GGUF model that should run on devices with as little as 6 GB of VRAM. For those of you who want to use the bigger models without owning a supercomputer, I'll also point you to a RunPod template that lets you spin up these workflows on powerful cloud GPUs without any hassle. And as a special thank you to my Patreon members, I'll also be providing a one-click Windows installer along with the workflow files. This will download and install everything you need to get this running with zero fuss. You can find that over on my Patreon page. Don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more great AI content. For those of you who are members on my Patreon, I've made this setup as straightforward as possible. All you need to do is download the Comfy UI batch file I've provided. Place this batch file in a separate dedicated folder on your Windows device, then just double click the file. This will automatically download and install everything you need, Comfy UI itself, all the custom nodes, and the necessary models directly into that designated folder. Once the installation is complete, the script should automatically start Comfy UI and open the web UI in your browser at the local host URL. When you're looking at the Comfy UI interface, simply load the workflow file from the Patreon post and you're good to go. Now, if you're installing this manually, you'll need to have Comfy UI installed. And I highly recommend using the Comfy UI Manager to make installing the custom nodes a lot easier. If you're on Windows, the simplest way is to head over to the Comfy UI GitHub repository, navigate to the release section, and download the Comfy UI Portable Windows zip file. This package comes with everything Comfy UI needs to run. Just extract the file using an archiving tool like 7-Zip. To install the Comfy UI Manager, open up a terminal, navigate to the custom nodes folder inside your Comfy UI directory, and git clone the Comfy UI Manager GitHub repository right into that folder. If you're using the portable Windows version, you'll then need to navigate back to the main Comfy UI portable directory. 
making sure you are in the folder that contains the Python embedded folder, and run the following command that I'll put on screen now. This will install all the necessary dependencies for the Comfy UI manager within the isolated embedded Python environment. I'll link a detailed written installation guide in the description that includes all of these commands and repository links. Before we start Comfy UI, we need to download our models. This includes the Quinn Image GGUF quantized model, an efficient QN2 5VL7B GGUF clip model, the Quinn Image Litex to V Lightning 4 step LoRa model, and the Quinn Image VAE model. Again, I'll link the required pages in the written guide down below. To download the Quinn Image GGUF model, head over to the City96 Hugging Face page. Navigate to the Files and Versions tab. Here, you'll find different quantized versions for the Quinn Image model. From my testing, the 3K SGGUF model provides decent results even on low VRAM cards like my 6GB RTX 4050. If you have more compute available, a larger quantized version might produce even better results, so feel free to choose one of those. For our Quinn 7B GGUF clip model, we'll head to the Unsloth Quinn 2.5 VL7B Hugging Face page and download the 4.0 GGUF clip model. This helps significantly reduce VRAM usage during the generation process. Next, for the LoRa model, you'll find it on the Litex to V Quinn Image Lightning Hugging Face repository page. Navigate to the Files version tab and download the 4-step Lightning Quinn Lightning LoRa. I'd go for the larger 1.7 GB LoRa over the smaller BF16 version. The quality difference between the two is pretty noticeable. If you don't mind a slightly longer wait for your generations, you can even grab the 8-step LoRa which could potentially boost the quality, though at the expense of speed. Finally, for the VAE model, we'll find this on the Comfy Org Quinn Image Packaged Hugging Face repo. Navigate into the Files and Versions tab, then into the Split Files folder, and finally the VAE folder to download the model. Once you have all your files downloaded, we need to place them into their correct folders inside the Comfy UI directory. Simply drag the Quinn Image GGUF model into your UNET Models folder, the Quinn VL7B Clip GGUF model into your Clip Models folder, the LoRa model into your LoRa Models folder, and the VAE model into your VAE Models folder. Now we can start up Comfy UI and load the workflow. If you encounter any red nodes, just go to the Comfy UI Manager in the top right and click Install Missing Nodes. Install anything the workflow needs one by one, then click the Restart button to fully install the new nodes. Once everything is installed, Check your model nodes in the workflow and make sure you select the correct model for each node. If you decide to use a diffusion model instead of a GGUF model, you can quickly enable the diffusion model loader node using the fast groups bypasser node. The workflow I've designed functions for both text to image and image to image. You can easily toggle between these two modes using the section toggle on the left of the workflow in the Fast Groups Bypasser node. You can also choose to enable or disable upscaling within the workflow, which will increase the wait time by a few seconds but gives you much better quality. The text to image part is pretty straightforward. Type in your positive prompt and click Run. On my RTX 4050 6GB GPU, generations usually take between 1 minute to a minute and a half with these settings, whether using text-to-image or image-to-image.
If you're finding that you need more compute power to run the workflow with the larger Quinn GGUF models or even the full diffusion models at faster speeds, I've also created a RunPod template. They offer everything from H100s, A100s, RTX 4090s and plenty more with an hourly fee for usage. Simply click on the RunPod template link in the description. If you don't have an account, you'll need to create one. Once you're logged in, select a GPU option. I'd advise going for a GPU with 24 GB of VRAM or more like a 4090 for the fastest results. Adjust the template storage space by clicking the Edit Template button and adjusting the container storage, which is temporary storage for your pod. Once your settings are dialed in, go ahead and click Deploy at the bottom of the page. Your pod will start building and it will begin running scripts to install all the necessary components for the project. This whole process can take about 10 to 15 minutes. You can keep an eye on the progress by checking the logs file. When you see the final executed script showing the local URL in the terminal, that's your cue that it's ready. As a general rule of thumb, if you're using my default template when the storage capacity hits around 50-55% in the RunPod interface, it usually means the installation is complete. Once the installation has finished, click the Connect button. The template also comes with Jupyter Lab built-in, which you can access by tapping the Jupyter Connect button. This gives you easy access to all the Comfy UI directory folders and comes with terminal access for each directory. When you're done, head back to the Pods Connect menu and click the Comfy HTTP button, and that will launch the latest version of the Comfy UI interface right in your web browser. Now that we have our Comfy UI interface up and running, all that's left to do is upload the workflow and start generating. So there you have it, a powerful Quinn image generation workflow for Comfy UI. The quality of this model is incredible, and the fact that we can run it on lower VRAM devices and use that four-step lightning LoRa for faster generations is really impressive. If you found this useful, let me know down in the comment section below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.